So as we wind up our tutorial, I want to show you a quick way of uh, representing uh, these rooms in, in, in a neat presentation format, what I am calling, or rather what uh, Revit calls a color field legend. So I want to have the various rooms Instead of having these uh, names in place, we can have just colors and then we have a color legend uh, at some point here so that we can be able to reference from uh, the color legend and get to know what type of a room that. So let's get back to the architecture tab here. Under the architecture tab, we're going to see, let's go to annotate. So let's go to the annotate tab. At the end here, you are going to see color, fill, a legend. So if you click or if you put your mouse over this, you are going to see some uh, descriptions that are given here. So color, fill, legend places a legend in a view to indicate the meaning of colors for rooms or areas. So you open up a floor plan view or a section to place a color, fill, legend. If you've not yet assigned a color scheme to the view, you will be prompted to select one. To create or modify a color scheme, use the Edit Scheme tool. So this is basically uh, giving you information on how you are going to create this uh, color legend. So all I want to do is click on that. And when I click, you see here it's telling me no color scheme assigned to view. So what you are going to do is place it there and it's going to prompt you to choose the space type and color scheme. So here under space type, I want to use the rooms and color scheme here, I want to have um, name. Yes, yes, name. Then click on, okay. So it's calculating and as put a room legend in place with the various colors as you can see let me try to move it a little bit at this point so if you go back to a floor plan view you see we have the various rooms with the different colors and that is what i wanted to have so when we are done with that maybe we can try to delete the room tags like that so delete the tag the rooms are still going to exist but we'll have the tags deleted so that instead of having this uh, text in there we are going to have the room legend okay so our floor plan now looks like this. We have a room legend here, which this color points to bedroom one. You can be able to see the color is this one. Bedroom two, this color. Bedroom three, this color. And all these other ones. So let's say you want to edit anything in the room legend. All you do is click on it as we've done right now. At the top here, you have edit scheme, which is going to open the various color schemes for us and in terms of this i want to have the wc in a completely different color let's say we want we have the black 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 let's have this click ok in terms of the fill i want to have cross arch this one which looks like that. So if I click on apply and click OK, you'll see this as updated where we have the WC areas. The same with what we have here. So I want to also change for the kitchen. So this is the kitchen. I want to have the colors blue. Let's have this, that blue, okay. And then instead of a solid fill, let's have a cross arch and apply that. Click okay. 
you'll see the same get updated here. So that's how to create a room uh, legend color scheme for presentation of your drawing. So with that, I think we've managed to create our, um, or rather to model our building in Revit. If I can just take you back to what we've created. Yeah. This project's browser here, which, which shows us the various floor plans that we have. We have a ceiling level plan, we have a ground floor, we have a roof level and site. We have ceiling plans, 3D views, elevations, legions, shadows, and all those. And to be, just to appreciate what we have, this is our um, floor plan, well uh, laid out with uh, everything in place. This is our 3D view of the project. You can be able to make more customizations to this, but for the purposes of explaining this concept to, uh, because this is a beginner tutorial, eh? for the purposes of explaining these concepts, this is what we've created as our 3D model. We have the various elevations already in place and our east elevation our north elevation, our south elevation, and the west elevation. So we've come to the end of our tutorial. So thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in uh, the next videos. If you like this, please subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you, and see you in the next video. Cheers.